3406 Caterpillar. There is no denying this engine's presence in the Class 8 world, as thousands of over-the-road trucks still rely on it to propel them all over America in a trouble-free manner. It's the legendary 3406 from Caterpillar, and it's a big reason why legions of truck owners swear by cat power. Available in A, B, C, and eventually the coveted E model, the 3406 featured a bore of 5.4 inches, a stroke of 6.5 inches, and displaced 893 cubic inches, or 14.6 liters. Depending on the model, horsepower ratings ranged from 375 to 465, with the highest factory torque output checking in at 1,850 foot-pounds. As mentioned, the most revered 3406 carries an E at the end. While the 3406A and the 3406B were fully mechanical engines, and the 3406C was a mix of both mechanical and electronics, the 3406E marked the point in time when CAT had mastered and then released a fully electronic unit injection system, circa 1993. Detroit Diesel 60 Series when other engine manufacturers were just beginning to recognize that electronic control was the wave of the future, Detroit developed the 677 cubic inch 11.1 liter and 778 cubic inch 12.7 liter from scratch and hit a home run right off the bat. Each engine's unit injection system was completely electronic and performed flawlessly, as did the rest of the engine. In fact, the initial overhaul interval recommendation of 500,000 miles was changed to 750,000 miles soon after these engines were released. A short time later, the 60 series appeared on the scene, which virtually solved every issue the previous 50 series power plants had before it. Later on in 2001, Detroit set its sights on the larger engine market with the release of its 858 cubic inch 14 liter engine. This version, possessing a long 6.62 inch stroke and a 5.24 inch bore, was capable of producing 1,650 foot pounds of torque at 1,200 RPM, along with 515 horsepower at 1,800 RPM. International DT-466, International Harvester. Whether you know it or not, you've spent time around International's DT-466. School buses, box trucks, farm tractors, small bulldozers, and dozens of other applications have been powered by this legendary I-6. The largest of International Harvester's 400 series engines, the DT-466, was the big brother to the 414 and 436 cubic inch tractor engines, which all shared the same block. <laughs> Its deep skirt cast iron crankcase housed an induction hardened forged steel crankshaft with seven main bearings, utilized ductile iron wet cylinder liners, and featured a 4.3 inch bore with a torque 5.35 inch stroke. Thanks to a robust rotating assembly and six head bolts per cylinder being part of its mechanical makeup, the DT 466 can withstand a lot of abuse in stock form. The iconic International Harvester engine will handle 1,200 horsepower before the factory head gasket becomes a concern. And up to that point, you can add all the fuel and air you want without worrying about hard part upgrades of any kind.
Mercedes-Benz OM617. The OM617 engine family is a straight five diesel automobile engine from Mercedes-Benz used in the 1970s and 80s. The OM617 is considered to be one of the most reliable engines ever produced, with engines often reaching over 1 million kilometers or 620,000 miles without being rebuilt and is one of the key reasons for Mercedes popularity in North America in the 1980s. As it was powerful and reliable compared to other automotive diesels of the time. It is also a very popular choice for the use of alternative fuels, mainly straight or waste vegetable oil and biodiesel, although the use of these fuels may cause engine damage over time if not processed properly before use. The year 1976 saw the engine adapted to use a turbocharger. This 190 PS or 187 horsepower OM617LA was fitted to the C111 2D test vehicle and set 16 world land speed and endurance records at the Nardo test facility in Italy. In 1978, the engine was upgraded again to 230 PS or 227 horsepower. KTA Cummins, a square engine with 6.25 inch bore and stroke made for 1,150 cubic inches, 19 liters of displacement. And although its original intent was never to power over the road trucks, the KTA made its way into them nevertheless. Single turbo class eight versions sported a single turbo and could crank out 600 horsepower a very big number back in the late 1970s and 80s. Peak torque from the factory checked in at 1,650 foot-pounds, but it's rumored that the KTA had to be fueled conservatively at low RPM to limit torque, thereby increasing the lifespan of whatever transmission was bolted up behind. Like the 855 big cam engines of the era, the KTA used Cummins PT pressure time fuel system. As for high horsepower truck pulling applications, the 1,150 cubic inch Cummins dominated the ranks of hot rod type semi classes for years, in large part thanks to its solid foundation and obvious displacement advantage over other class 8 engines. <laughs> 